So today we're going to walk through how to register a, or create a team on IM Leagues. If you go to the Purdue website, you can click in the bottom right hand corner where it says Intramural Sports and that'll take you to a page where you can access IM Leagues. IM Leagues is our online registration system where we allow people to create teams and sign up for our different sports. So if you click on the link, you can just enter your Purdue login. This is the login you use to get in any computer on campus. Enter your information and that'll take you to our IM Leagues homepage. Once you're on your homepage, you can see a lot of information including a calendar of events. This is typically when you are already on a team. You can see the time and date of your games on this page. You can also click at the top where it has your stats. This is the stats of previous games that you've participated in including winning percentages and other interesting items along those lines. So we're actually going to go back to the home page and click on the green button where it says register. After you click on that button it will take you to the Intramural Sports home page where it shows all of the sports that we'll be offering for the upcoming semester. It also provides information about those sports including the divisions that we're going to offer, how much it costs to make each team, registration dates, times, and it also gives you the time of the regular season so that way you can plan accordingly for the upcoming season. So now we're going to go on ahead and create a team on IM League. So we'll be clicking on the Women's Open League for sand or for 4v4 Sand Volleyball. So go on ahead and click on that link and it'll take us to the Division page, which will give us the options of the times our team will play. And it'll say Create Team in that option. So in this case, we're going to create a team to play on Monday at 645. So we'll click that green button and it'll take us to a page where we can take a captain's quiz. For the sake of this video, we're going to go on ahead and skip the quiz, but we require that all of our captains take it to gain information about the league. You must pass the quiz in order to create the team. So now that the team has been created, you're going to have to enter a little bit more information. You're going to have to accept a waiver of liability. This releases Purdue Intramural Sports from all liability issues. Go on ahead and click Accept. And you're also going to see a lot of information for our captains. It's highly advised that you read through all of this information. It gives you a lot of info about the league and things you're going to need to know for the upcoming season. Here you can enter your team name. For this scenario, we're just going to be Team A. You can also choose a picture to represent your team if you want to. Um, but also make sure that you certify that you have the rights to distribute said photo. And now you can also auto accept members. So if people want to automatically join your team you can allow them to do so. You also have the option to allow free agents or show that you're looking for them. And you can also send game day reminders. You can send reminders anywhere between one to four days of your game. And once you've completed the steps you can actually go on ahead and create your team. Now you can go ahead and just create your team. So now that your team is created, that doesn't necessarily mean you're ready for the upcoming season. You also have to submit a payment and you have to have the minimum number of players on your team. So in order to get the minimum number of players, excuse me, you can go down to where it has your roster and just click invite. And on this page you can search the name of your team members. They will have to create an IM Leagues account in order to be found here. So once you type in their name, you can just send them an invitation and they should actually get a notification that you've invited them to your team. They have to accept this notification in order to be on your team. So once you've done that and accepted or invited all of your team members, you can actually go on ahead and pay. We highly advise that all of our participants pay online. It is a much smoother process. Or you can come into the co-rec and play, pay manually, but it'll be much faster to do so online. And once you've submitted your payment, you are good to go for the rest of the season, and you will receive an email from the administrative team.